begin the certification. Today we determine whether what we have in front of the courts meets the test of a class to become a certified class action. Standing behind me is a large group of our hereditary chiefs, the true title holders of our territories. We have the hereditary chiefs of the Gwawinuk, the Zaodenok, the Hafatbis, the Kukwasutinuk, the Numgis, the Mamalilakla, and the Mumptagila all stand behind this court action. And we look forward to having our day in court. We look forward to stripping away the denial the provincial government chooses to trot out when it comes to the aquaculture industry. We look around the world and we can see the problems that this industry represents. We also are very aware of the delay, deny and distract approach that industry has and which our provincial government has wholeheartedly embraced. The federal government, the Department of Fisheries and Oceans, is embarking on developing new aquaculture regulations. And I say to you all that what they're doing does not meet even the minimum test of consultation that they are bound by the courts to do. It is a sham that what they're doing. The Union of BC Indian Chiefs has issued a letter to Minister Shea asking her to abandon the process. We've asked her to begin something that is of meaningful content and something that reflects the depth and the width of this topic and meeting up the obligations that the Supreme Court hands the Crown. This issue is something that I think British Columbians are now finally coming to terms with. I think that it's time that we tell the government Putting our wild salmon at risk is simply unacceptable. When will the governments wake up? When will they decide to put full value to healthy salmon stocks and the healthy environment? We have a provincial government that is making many statements about being green, whether it's green power or what have you. But I'm challenging the provincial government and the federal government to do what's right. It's time to move this industry, the open net cage fish farms, move them away from salmon migratory routes and take the bigger bolder step and actually develop closed containment. We chose the class action lawsuit approach simply because of the quick turnaround in terms of getting it in front of the courts for decision. Then that the need for the quick turnaround is to implement the changes in this industry which will then safeguard our environment. We of course have worked very hard to make sure that this is successful but this does not mean the end of our struggle. We will not stop. We will protect the wild salmon and we will protect the environment of our people. I'm pleased to be here this morning to support uh, Muskmao Sawataniak hereditary leaders with respect to seeking certification of their class action lawsuit. It's really one of the greatest threats that have ever um, arisen in British Columbia with respect to those things that we hold most dear in this, um, in this province and within our territories. So it's not just a First Nations issue, it's an issue for all people. Open net pens have to be completely removed from the water. There's no other solution.